Tricky question, because this is me. My dad was a United States soldier who took an oath to support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. So when I was little, the Constitution and all that came along with it meant that my dad was gone a lot. And while the Constitution might be the law of the land that granted us freedoms that were pretty remarkable back in 1789 when it first went into effect, try explaining that to a two-year-old who just misses her dad. As a teen, I see the Constitution differently. The Constitution affects us, governs us, and protects us every day in every facet of our lives. Want to speak out against the president, your teacher, your employer, or even your neighbor? Yes, you can. Want to freely pursue the occupation or lifestyle of your choice? Yes, you can. Want to vote for your elected officials? Want to worship the God of your choice or no God at all? Want a fair trial by jury? Yes, you can. But beliefs change over time. Things that were commonplace and considered acceptable in 1789 and other points in our history are considered unacceptable or even reprehensible today. If the Constitution didn't have the ability to be amended, changed, or interpreted differently, then our society would not be able to evolve. But because of its flexibility, our constitution is considered the oldest constitution that is still in force. But with flexibility comes turmoil. People don't always agree. Congress and voters are deeply divided when it comes to hot button issues like gun control, big versus small government, abortion rights, voting access, and federal versus state powers. No matter what side people take, they can be sure to make enemies. My dad took an oath to support and defend the Constitution of the United States. All of it, even the parts he might have disagreed with. But he did it, and he stands by his oath, because if someone disagrees with the Constitution, they have the ability to speak out and work towards changing it. That was pretty unique back in 1789 when it first went into effect. And even today, it's something that people in many countries simply don't have. If we don't like it, we have the ability to lawfully and peaceably work towards change. And that's something I'll never take for granted.